Hi, this is John from Bearable Traders, and I want to review my best and worst trade from 26 May 2021. As always, if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel, or hit the notification bell, that is really appreciated. My worst trade today was on Beyond Meat. Uh, this was a high day break trade with a high day of 124.33. The volume at entry was 1 million shares and the RVOL was 170%. I really actually like trading beyond the meat. I think it's a pretty good stock to trade when it's in play. And I like the way it moves. A lot of people don't, but I, I, I do. I know how to read it, I think. Uh, it was gapped up at the open and ready to break out on the daily chart. So it looked really good. And, and with this high RVOL, it, it was totally in play and uh, looked like a good thing to trade. The one minute volume was stepping up and the bar before the entry candle was the second highest of the day of the day. So you can see it here. This is my, my I entered on this red volume bar, which unfortunately stepped down. Uh, but the one before it was actually kind of surging a bit. I really liked that at the time. The spy was losing momentum near the previous close as I took my entry. So it, it had sold off a lot during the morning. It had come up to its previous close and it was kind of uh, flattening out there. So it wasn't really helping me. I took an entry at 123.94, decided to play the break of 124 instead of the actual high of day. I think this is an okay decision this early in the morning. Uh, there was a decent ask sitting at 124 and I was hoping to play the break of the, the pop through that. Uh, but the trade never went anywhere. And like I said, the volume fell off after my entry. That's never a good sign. When the, when the next volume bar is lower than the, uh, when your entry volume bar is lower than the previous one, that's not good. And I should have taken that more seriously. Uh, the next candle nearly stopped me out. I would have been stopped out at uh, around 123 and it almost got down there. Uh, maybe a 0.8 R loss at that point. And then came back up and fought a little bit. And uh, I had lots of time to bail out around a 0.6 to 0.7 hour loss, even a 0.5 hour loss. And I, I didn't take it. And in my gut, I knew I should have. And I stayed in this trade and uh, eventually took a 0.9 hour loss. and was a full one hour loss in this trade. So this one didn't work out at all. Uh, my best trade was on Roblox. This was another high day break trade where the high day was 90.88. The volume at entry was 1.8 million shares. The RVOL was 150%. And this is not a stock I often trade, but very much in play lately. It's almost in my, the price range I prefer. I like stocks over $100, so it's, it's pretty close. Uh, always nice to have a high day near the pre-market highs, a really nice breakout level. So you can see the pre-market highs, is this magenta dotted line here, and you can see where it had trouble right here, breaking it, and then have this nice exponential punch up that I like to see to the high a day and to the pre-market high. So that was great. And saw some surging volume coming in. So the volume, Profile was actually stepping down, but it was really surging high as it approached the pre-market high and the high of day. So those that's the rare instance where I'd like to see white steps stepping up and that they're here, they're actually stepping down, but this is what I call surging volume. And it's the second highest volume bar of the day, second only to the opening bar. So uh, there's some really good optimistic enthusiasm there. SPY, clearly not in my direction. Uh, and that's a bit of a concern 13 minutes after the open. If you're five to 10 minutes after the open, I, I, I am not as concerned about what the SPY is doing, but at 13 minutes, I, I am. And uh, I was trusting in this volume to make this trade carry at least into the green where I could get a stop to break even. And, and I got that and more, but I, I didn't like the SPY working against me, I will say that. Entry at 90.83, so did not wait for the break of 91, took it, played it basically on the break of the high day, a little, little bit before it, again, on that volume. Uh, easy move, first 50% partial at 91.43, and this was too early. The, essentially, what I took was a, a 50 cent move, well, a little bit more than that, but um, I should have waited for 92. Uh, the signs were here. The, if you look at the, the next volume bar, it's even higher than the one I entered on, and it's, it's almost as high as the opening bar of the day. And I think the low, well, low for me, price, you know, below 100. Uh, made me fearful I wouldn't get a whole $1 move. Also, uh, the R3 level I was concerned about. There was a bit of a price pause just above R3 and that, that kind of faked me out. Second 50% partial at 92, so that's great. That's at a dollar level, so took that one there. And that looked like a good one because there was some resistance there and a bit of a pullback. Third 50% partial at R4. This was a great partial. I actually did not get greedy and try to get close to 93. I saw the R4 level here at 92.87. And 
And I thought, you know what, we'll just take some off there because it's, it's such a, a key rejection level. And look at that, almost to the penny, it rejected off that R4, never got up to 93. Fourth 50% partial at 93.84. I was trying to get near 94. It was having some trouble. You can see this 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 resistance here. It was, it was bouncing around a price, and uh, I got a little scared and uh, took a partial right before it popped, of course. And then I got my last partial all out, or excuse me, not a partial, but all, got all out at 94.89 on a range order, uh, and that's exactly where I had my limit order set. So. Uh, Good trade on Roblox. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, drop them down below, and I'd love to discuss these trades. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.